he asked for a, a more Tranmere performance today? Did you get that from your team? Well, I'm glad you just asked me that question because it was one thing I was going to speak about today. It was a little bit maybe um, critical of the performance on Friday. It does, like, but for us today, we're so positive. I mean, we had to make some tactical tweaks today because it's a different type of game. And also in League Two, you've got to win day games in different ways. Everyone knows that we're going to be a possession based side and, and try and dominate the ball. But today, we needed to win the game in a different way. And when the game starts, you also get a feel for the game and what you've got to do to win it. And like I say, to a man today, I thought the players were outstanding. I'm pleased to see Harvey Sunday's first goal at Brenton Park. That's two in four games for him now, but it's always great to score at home. Of course, it is. And the effort these players are putting in is commendable. And what we've got to remember is I mean, Harvey deserves it for his energy and his work rate, but what we've got to remember is you look at the injury list that we've got. We've got nine players, senior players, out for the season now. We've got Chris Merry, unfortunately, who doesn't look like he's going to return. And you go through the group today, we've got four, we've only got four players in the starting 11 who've made over 100 EFL appearances. The bench haven't even made 25 between them. So people forget that at times. And for them to go and put out that hard work and performance, stay tactically great and win the game for, for, for the club and the fans, I think you can only credit them. I think they had a, a fair amount of possession, but they, they weren't hurting you too much with it, were they? And if you had the better chances in the game? Yeah, uh, I, I completely agree. I think if you analyse a game, I think the last three games we've dominated possession and probably haven't created enough ourselves. Today, we've had less possession, but we've scored a goal and had three really good chances on the break and possibly could have scored another one, but we, we can't we try and try and one for more, we, I thought we were outstanding, like I say, to a player, for what we've got at the moment, they're all working hard and they are with the club, they're trying to push us forward and if anyone's had any doubts, if they're not working hard enough for the club to the end of the season and think there's any dead rubbers, then that proves there isn't. Quite a few crosses flashing across the six-yard box as well. If no bodies in the box once or twice would have helped too, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think by, I think I think at the end when we were making them crosses, I think the lads have put that much into it. They just couldn't quite get there, and we just had to manage the game. You get to one nil and you get to fifteen minutes to go. Would you like to get another goal? Yes, but it's more important that you see the game through and you get three points. And I can only be proud of the players today and any, I think anyone who watched the performance today here or at home I think the one thing that you can say is that they represented everyone well everyone worked hard committed tactically very good today like I say we had to make some tweaks today because we want to win games of football and I thought we'd done that today Safety first on occasions at the back as well I mean not taking too many chances I mean obviously the pitch was very very slippy and it, it wasn't great conditions was it with the, the wind swirling around as well um, it's interesting you say that. I think th I think the real question is is how we approach the game today. How are we going to approach it to win the game? So we've got to learn from our mistakes on Friday. So on Friday, we started poorly and they've scored the goal and it's killed the tempo of the game. We knew today the start of the game it was going to be so important to us. So if that made us made if that meant us taking less risks with the ball, then so be it. But I thought Kane done well for us, secured the ball, I thought the lads worked and like I say, I think it's only positivity from us today. Good for Matty Hult as well today, wasn't it? I mean, you know, a young man sort of making his way in and, and he was solid today. Yeah, I mean I, I said after the game about mentality and it was always a test if they want to play for this club and represent this club you've got to come back mentally and I thought I, 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 I mentioned him at the end is that after Friday I thought he showed great mentality today he was outstanding he had one where he, he missed kick one but didn't affect him and he just went on and done his job and he was important to us because there was a couple of scrambles in and around the box and like I say I thought his de decision making was outstanding but to a player subs included like I mentioned the subs are inexperienced at this level they come in and done a job and winning games of football is a, is a man for this club and we've got to make sure we do it from now till the end of the season there a chance for, for young lads I mean Sam Taylor on the bench again today he's had a few minutes so far if someone like Sam might just get a few more minutes between now and the end of the season yeah we've got we've got Sam as a young player and I thought he was outstanding when he came on on Friday but I thought all the subs were you look at Logan and you look at Leo Connor and him and Logan and Lee ain't the right to play today I thought Jay Turner Cook showed what he can do at this level as well I thought he worked really hard for the team and, and he, he put a shift in like say Sam Taylor will get minutes between now and the end of the season it's just picking the right moments for him to come on and play and I think like I say the players are working really hard and we're looking forward to the next game now. 
and you can see you know, how much the, the crowd appreciated that at the end as well. I mean, you know, that they were here today and they appreciated how much you put into the game and, and how much you deserve that victory. Yeah, I, I say it all the time. Our fans know football. You, you go to some clubs and they're not football people. These are football people. They know. They can see in their eyes when the when the players are working hard enough and they're trying their best to go and win a game of football. And like I say, there's different ways to do that. And I thought we found a way to do it today. And I think they I think they were outstanding again, like the way through the game and they stayed and, and clapped the players because I said to the players at the end of the game that, 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 that that's all they want. They just want to be represented properly, working hard, committed to the club, and, and that's the demand.